Hey everybody, welcome back to Seasonings to Seasons. If this is your first time here, my name is Stephanie. Today we're going to be talking about body odor. Yeah, we're going to be talking about body odor. So when I say body odor, anything from smelly feet, armpits, fat rolls. I mean, I didn't want to say fat, but that's what it is. I have them. I have fat rolls too, you know, so, so, so let's just move on with it. We're all adults. Behind your ears, um, between the nose, on the chin, and sometimes people have a smelly scalp. Even though they wash their hair and condition and rinse and they do all of those things, their scalp still smells as well. So I just wanted to come here and bring back to a reminder to you guys, just in case y'all never seen my first video, and tell you what I use for stubborn body odor. And it's Dr. Willard's. Can y'all see that? Dr. Willard's. And you may ask, Stephanie, where do you get Dr. Willard's? I don't know. Look it up, y'all. You can probably get it on Amazon, your local health food store. You may ask, how do you use Dr. Willard? On the bottle, it says it's concentrated. I don't mix it with water. I don't wash it off either. I just you know, spray it on and leave it. So I have a spray bottle. Put a little in the spray bottle because it's expensive to me. Spray on your arms, rub it in, spray wherever, wherever. I'm not going to tell you where. You know where you smell it. And when I say smell, let's go, let's reel it back in because I said everything really fast. You know how you take your time and take a shower, you take a bath, um, soak in the tub, do all the things, and you get out of the shower or get out of the bathtub and whether you blot your skin with a towel or whether you air dry it doesn't matter but you still seem to a couple of hour or two later or probably before then you just still have this odor that you just cannot get rid of well that's when you bring in the dr willard's the Willard water. That's when you bring that in. And how I use it is, like I said, I spray in whatever the area is, rub it in, rub it in, because it's, it's wet, it's like water. You just rub it in until it's dry, and then you do another smell test. So now, let's talk about the smell test. But the best way to, to see if you smell bad is to use the back of your hand. If you want to know, so in my situation, my personal situation is I use it under my arms. I use it on my armpits. And the crazy funny thing is I only have one armpit that has a weird smell. And it's this armpit right here. So I'm not just coming here telling y'all about this, just blindly talking about it. I use it. I use it regularly. Regularly. <laughs> I use it all the time. So I know what works for me so I, you know like i said i'm just doing a refresher video to let you guys know if you are having problems um with body odor and you just cannot get rid of it try the willers water and see if it works for you but going back to your smell test um if you want to be sure what whatever your particular areas are after you've washed and once that area is dry so let's 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 focus on the armpits since that's my issue. I like to, um, you know, make sure everything is dry on my arms. And then I don't know what the magic is. Maybe because there's veins and it's warmer on this side of the hand. Maybe not this side of the hand. Don't do like that and smell your hand because you may not smell anything for some strange reason. But honey, if you take the back of your hand, put it wherever, wherever your issue is, and when you smell it, that is your true smell. That's going to tell you if you actually have the odor or if you need to reapply something or whatever. So take the spray bottle, spray a little bit on your arm. You're going to rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. If it feels more comfortable to you, there is nothing wrong with um, getting your towel or when I, I said towel that just reminded me we're gonna have to have another video because we're gonna talk about how some people wash and how some people don't wash correctly with the washcloth okay but anyway you it's okay to take your towel or whatever um, whether you want to soap it up or just use plain warm water wring it out really good 
after you rub the Willer's water in and rub under your arms one more time. Okay? So after you do that, take your spray bottle again and spritz some more and rub, rub, rub until it's dry. You're going to do that until that scent disappears. And it's going to disappear probably, probably on the third time. You will not have any scent on your arm versus, versus not using the Willer's water. After that, then carry on with your regular getting yourself together, you know, whatever your deodorants are. I wouldn't recommend putting perfumes under your arms. I mean, people do. I don't do that. I just like, I, I don't do that. Anyway, that's a, another, another video I'm trying to go into. Um, just use your deodorant and, you know, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Come back and let me know the, if that Willard water worked for you or not. So that's the, the under the arm. But even if it's your feet or, like I said, your scalp or whatever, um, try the Willard's water. But like I said, use, if you want to know exactly how you smell, Use the back of your hand. I mean, I'm here to talk about the Willis water, but also I was wondering, did y'all know that? Did y'all know? Or, or you can, if you didn't know, you can challenge me. Next time you think you smell bad, or if you want to know if you smell bad, don't, don't, don't do that because that's not going to be your truth. Because you're going to smell like your perfumes, or you're going to smell like your deodorants, if, especially if you don't have a trained nose to smell the underlying natural body odor that you have. If you don't know what you're looking for, you're going to smell your deodorants, you're going to smell your fabric softeners or whatever you wash your clothes with. So that movement like that is not good enough. You're going to have to literally, and don't take your hand and do like that. You're going to take the back of your hand or even your back of your fingers, back of your hand, and you're going to touch and rub underneath and you're going to smell so I'm, I know it, it, it sounds crazy, but y'all try it, try it and, and let me know. Also, what else is I going to tell you about the Willer's water? Also, your breath. If you want to know if your breath smells good, don't, don't, and don't do that. Lick the back of your hand and smell it. <laughs> Lick and smell whatever that smells like, and, and don't just lick a little bit. Lick from back here on your tongue. Lick and smell whatever that smells like is how your breath smells. So you can chew gum, um, claim that you brushed your teeth. It'll let you know if you need to um, ramp up and amp up your your dental freshness. Um, it, it'll let you know. So I, I know these are conversations that nobody wants to talk about. Some people think it's rude, but it's not. It's not because if people were your actual friends and cared about you, they would tell you um, to fix yourself a little bit. So that's kind of what I'm doing. It's just trying to do it in a fun, funny way, you know, just to fix yourself. If your feet smell, if you have smelly feet, you don't want to use all of this in your water to soak your feet, but put enough water to cover your foot. You know how you have your foot in the water and it covers just the, the, the toes, between the toes and the bottom of your feet. Put just enough water to cover between your toes and the bottom of your feet because that's normally probably where the scent is coming from anyway. And add some Willard's water to it. Yeah. And as far as somebody asks, can you drink it? You can drink it. What are the benefits? Um, I'm not really ready to talk about those benefits yet, but um, I'll bring another video talking about that. But for right now, but my answer is going to be yes. It can help promote healing. Let's just say it that way. It can help promote healing and it can help get rid of body odor. So I think that's it for talking about Willer's water and I will come back with another video talking about this and you know, pretty soon. And I will see you guys tomorrow. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe because like I said, you just never know what I'm going to come on here and talk about, what I'm going to show, what I'm going to do. Each time I post, it, it could be different. 
sometimes I may come across as a little bit boring, but honey, let me tell y'all, I am not a boring person, all right? <laughs> so if y'all have not subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you here in my community. All right, see y'all later.